Alright, as you can see, I added the circuit to the receiver coil, the circuit that I showed in the other video. So we'll fire them up and test them. Uh, when you connect to it, the negative, you connect to the negative right off the capacitor. You use the diodes as kind of a fuse, like I mentioned, so you don't blow out your bridge rectifier that you made. You do three here, or I'm sorry, you do four here and five here. So you're kind of using the diodes as a fuse. Then you connect after the inductor. We'll connect our light bulb. And we'll see if we get him to work. He should work even better, theoretically. Because he's even finer tuned. Put him in range, as you can see. Just completely hollow pipe. Secondaries aren't connected to anything. They're just open. Because it's, it's a transmitter and a receiver system. So, I'll hit the switch. On. On. We will tune. See if we get a result on the bulb. Sometimes you gotta unplug it and then plug it back in to get the system oscillating. There we go. We have high activity. I'm gonna fine tune it even more. Something's acting fussy. There we go. We're resonating rate right at a little over 3 megahertz. Before we were below 3 megahertz, now we're right at 3 megahertz. Probably because I built everything perfectly even. And if you bring your hand near it, it goes out. I can just pick it up and walk away. Completely wireless. I put them in range. Baboom, he lights. I really like that frequency. We got juice. We'll run the motor again. as hell motor, pick it up, walk away, turns off, bring them in range, ba-boom. Fine-tune the motor. Interesting. Seems even more sensitive to tuning for some reason today. Sorry for the bad video quality, I'm filming one hand.